World War I, a global conflict that engulfed much of Europe, presented a complex web of alliances, conflicts, and military engagements. Amidst this turmoil, Switzerland stood as a unique anomaly, maintaining its status as a neutral nation and avoiding invasion despite its geographical location at the heart of the conflict. This article delves into the factors that contributed to Switzerland's successful preservation of neutrality during World War I and the significance of its stance in the midst of the war's chaos. Historical Neutrality Switzerland's commitment to neutrality has roots in its long history of avoiding foreign entanglements. The country had maintained a policy of neutrality since the early 19th century, seeking to avoid the entrapments of European conflicts and focusing on maintaining its sovereignty and independence. Geographical Advantages One of the key reasons Switzerland remained uninvaded was its strategically advantageous geography. Surrounded by the Alps, the country's natural barriers posed significant challenges to potential invaders. The difficult terrain made military campaigns and logistics extremely challenging, deterring belligerent nations from attempting to breach Swiss borders. Economic Interests Switzerland's neutral status was also tied to its role as a financial and economic hub. The country served as a banking center for various nations, including those at war. Its status as a neutral ground facilitated financial transactions and diplomatic interactions that would have been difficult in war-torn territories. Invading Switzerland could have disrupted these vital economic activities, prompting the belligerent nations to respect its neutrality. International Respect for Neutrality The international community generally respected Switzerland's neutral status. The Hague Conventions, which established rules for the conduct of warfare, emphasized the importance of respecting neutral countries. Nations recognized that disregarding Switzerland's neutrality could lead to diplomatic repercussions and affect the perception of their own wartime conduct strong defense and militia. Switzerland's readiness to defend itself played a significant role in deterring potential invaders. The Swiss maintained a well-trained citizen militia, and the country had a strong tradition of self-defense. This military preparedness sent a clear message that any invasion of Switzerland would come at a high cost in terms of manpower and resources. Diplomatic Efforts Switzerland's diplomatic efforts were instrumental in maintaining its neutrality during World War I. The country actively engaged in negotiations and consultations with the belligerent nations to ensure that its borders were respected. These diplomatic endeavors helped communicate Switzerland's commitment to its neutrality and its determination to avoid getting entangled in the conflict. Legacy of Neutrality Switzerland's success in maintaining its neutrality during World War I not only preserved its sovereignty but also served as a testament to the power of diplomacy and the importance of international respect for neutrality. The country's ability to navigate the complexities of a global conflict while protecting its interests and integrity continues to be a source of inspiration for nations facing turbulent times. Switzerland's neutrality during World War I was not a mere stroke of luck. It was the result of a deliberate and multifaceted approach to foreign relations, diplomacy, and military readiness. The country's geographic advantages, historical commitments, and diplomatic efforts combined to create a compelling deterrent against invasion. Switzerland's stance during the war serves as a reminder that even in times of global conflict, nations can chart their own course and maintain their integrity through strategic planning, diplomacy, and a commitment to peace.